Pirates. They even wanted me to be Captain Kelly, the captain of our pirate ship. Me! I was so excited to sail the open seas looking for buried treasure. Arrgh! Things were going swimmingly until Jonas and Leela decided to disagree about what we should do next. Oh, no. Jonas thought we should man the sails and Leela thought we should swab the deck. That means to clean the floor of the boat. Anyway, they wanted me as captain to pick a side. What I was going to do? How can I choose between them? I don't want to hurt someone's feelings by choosing only one of them. Their ideas are both good. Thanks for listening, friends. Phew. It felt good to talk that out. Maybe our Bible story today will help us figure out what to do. It's time for our Bible story, and today's Bible story comes from the book of Proverbs. Even though it's story time, the book of Proverbs really isn't a story at all. See, a proverb is a really smart saying that whoever hears them and follows them will actually have a really good life. But in order to have the good life, you have to hear the proverb and follow exactly what it says. Someone who knows what God says and actually does them is called a wise person. Yes. Pretty cool, huh? Our proverb today comes from Proverbs 22. These short and very smart sayings have a similar topic. It can be so easy sometimes for us to like someone more than others just because of the things that we see. Things like the stuff that they have or their clothes or the way that they look or even what they can do for us. These proverbs remind us that choosing sides based on these things is not good. Proverbs 22, 1 through 2 tells us that being known as a good person is better than anything someone can give us for choosing their side, and that God made everyone equal so we should treat them that way. Proverbs 22, 8 through 9 tells us that being unfair will only lead to bad things, while being fair will lead to good things. Proverbs 22, 22 to 23 tells us that God takes the side of people who have no one on their side, and we should be on God's side too. That's good stuff, huh? Don't you feel wise? Remember, these proverbs only work if we go out and do them. So go out and practice them. And remember, it is more important to be fair and do the right thing than to choose sides. In fact, Whenever you have to make a decision that might make somebody feel hurt or sad, I want you to take a deep breath and repeat after me. I can be wise by not choosing sides. Well, friends, that was awesome. If I wanted to be a good captain of this pirate ship, it doesn't mean just picking a side. It means obeying God doing what's right. The Proverbs are awesome. That Bible story made me think, I don't have to choose between puffing the sails or swabbing the deck. We can do both. But maybe later because land ho! We have to drop our anchor and go see if this island has buried treasure. Well friends, I have to get back to my play date with Jonas and Leela. But I hope you learned as much as I did today. Don't forget, if anyone asks you to make a tough choice like I did, maybe you can tell them what we learned today. I can be wise by not choosing sides. Thanks for sailing along and growing with me. Ahoy, matey!